Hello! In many of my videos you'll probably notice that I often bounce back and forth between various network and process monitoring tools. I wanted to take a moment to illustrate that tool set and demonstrate the use of those. I'm going to open an SSH session to a remote server named BCU and then issue the Biobu command. The Biobu application is a terminal multiplexer which means that you can both multitask and ensure that your running applications and processes will continue to run if you get disconnected from that box. And so to demonstrate that, we'll start a ping to Google within Biobu, and then disconnect our Biobu session with the F6 key. Also disconnect our SSH session, and that essentially simulates being disconnected via uh, VPN drop or an internet connection outage and now we can reconnect to that server at a later time and issue our Biobu command to resume that session. Take note that the ping command continued to run while we were away. And so that's a very powerful tool in terms of remote Linux server administration. The next tool that I like to use for real-time performance monitoring is HTOP. This thing will allow you to view the CPU core utilization, memory and swap file, swap space uh, utilization, as well as your running processes similar to top. It is a mouse interactive text application, which means you can sort your applications by CPU, memory, or any of these other column headers. So that's quite a handy tool, especially if you're about to do something that's resource intensive. There are lots of keyboard commands with Biobu that are very well documented in the interactive help and also at the Biobu website. I'm going to hit control A followed by the pipe, which will give me a horizontal split. That's quite handy for maximizing your screen real estate. The next command that I like to use for network monitoring is called NetHogs. And you'll need to enter your interface name, your Ethernet device name, probably ETH0 or ETH1. Mine's a bridge with a VLAN, um, but again yours is probably ETH0. So the NetHogs command will display the running processes and the bandwidth consumed on that Ethernet device by those processes. So if you're ever trying to figure out what on earth is eating all of your network resources or internet bandwidth, this is a cool tool to be able to do that. The next key that I'll hit for Biobu is F2 and that will allow us to open up multiple windows similar to tabbed browsing in your web browser. Now we can use the F3 and F4 keys to toggle between those tabs if you will. On the window number one we'll move on to my next favorite network monitoring tool called inload. Again you'll need to specify your Ethernet device. The inload application will display a graph of historical and current bandwidth utilization of this Ethernet device split by incoming and outgoing traffic. It's just a handy visual representation to see what all is happening. And so I would like to go ahead and generate some traffic going across this Ethernet device. And uh, I happen to want to download the Ubuntu server development branch daily build. We'll copy this URL. And initialize, initiate that download. Okay, so now we should have some Ethernet traffic. As you can see here, we ramped right up to probably pegging out my internet connection at around 25 megabits per second. Again, over here on the NetHogs output you can see uh, the wget command is consuming you know 2800 kilobits kilobytes per second rather and I can use my F3 and my F4 key to navigate those windows the last command that I want to illustrate here is called IP traff if you're familiar with packet capturing such as what Wireshark will do uh, this is right along that same line except for we don't really do packet capturing here we're just monitoring the packets and not in as much detail as what Wireshark will show. 
So real-time IP traffic monitoring of all interfaces. This is a very handy tool for diagnosing networks. If you're building VLANs, if you're adding routing, and you need to find out if your ICMP packets are actually making it to a destination, this is a really cool tool to be able to do that without having to capture a PCAP file and then open it back up later. Um, the top pane of this window shows your TCP traffic with your source and destination addresses. Also, uh, you can see the TCP status under the uh, flags column and the interface naturally is, is listed there. The bottom pane of IP traff will show your UDP traffic, ICMP traffic, and any broadcast traffic that might be happening. And so again, if you're troubleshooting a network such as uh, DHCP and you need to see if the uh, DHCP discover is hitting a particular Ethernet interface, this is a great place to do that. IPTRAF has a lot of other features. I won't go through them all. Uh, one of my other favorites is Land Station Monitor, which will show your total traffic in and out of this box based on MAC address. In other words, which box on my network is consuming the most traffic of this box. And um, something else that's pretty handy is the statistical breakdowns by TCP UDP. What this will allow you to do is view your traffic by protocol. Keep in mind, IPTRAF doesn't have 0 through 65536 enabled. It only uses the common ports. You can go in and specify other ports if, if it's not a common port that you want to monitor. Um, here you can see my uh, download on 80 and our SSH session on 22. Go ahead and exit that, and we'll bounce back to our ISO, which is still underway. Still cruising in at 20 plus megabits per second. I'm pleased with that. And just one more time to demonstrate the coolness of Biobu, I'm going to disconnect entirely from the BCU server. All of those things that I have running are still running, and I can rejoin that session easily by using the biobu command. One more thing I want to illustrate is how to make biobu function in a persistent state. In other words, for it to launch automatically on all of your subsequent SSH connections, you can issue the biobu enable command. And then I'll go ahead and close out again. So now, next time I open an SSH session to this BCU box, it should dump me straight into the Biobu application, and it did. So now that box is properly prepped the way I like it, so that I can pretty much just leave these things running. And every time I come back in, I'll have those system monitoring tools available, and I won't have to recreate a session. Now, if I reboot the box or something like that, then naturally I'll be starting from scratch, but at least I'll have be able to do it, and I can um, reconstruct my windows the way I like them. And that's all for now on this video. I hope you enjoyed.